Hi everyone, today we are going to start with Open Office Calc. So whenever you open Open Office Writer, you can open the calc over here. You have all the options. Like when you click on New, you can create a writer document or a spreadsheet or presentation. Because we are going to start with calc, so we will take the spreadsheet. So this is how this gets opened and this is the menu bar, this is the standard toolbar, then we have formatting toolbar, this is your st spreadsheet, by default there are three spreadsheets, sheet 1, 2 and 3, this is the cell, by default A1 is the current cell which is selected and you can see it is highlighted by a broader black border, so this is the current cell, if you click on another cell that will become your active cell. Now let's focus on data consolidation. Before we start, let's see what is the definition. Data consolidation allows you to gather your data from separate worksheets into a master worksheet. Or it takes data from a series of worksheet workbook and summarizes it into single worksheet so that you can update easily. What do you mean by that? Let's understand. I have the data for the year 2019 and 20 and I want to consolidate. I want to summarize like what is the total cell in the two years so this is what is consolidating as per the definition let's see one more time it's gathering the data it takes the data from different worksheets so i'm taking data from two worksheets right 2019 and data from 2020 and then i want to find out total sale for each quarter quarter 1, 2, 3, 4 in both the years and that should be branch wise. So how we are going to do it? First of all you should know where is this option available in which menu it is. Data menu and consolidate option. So when you click on this the consolidate dialog box will appear. Here you can select the function by default it is sum. So what you can do with consolidate you can use a sum function count function average max min product right now i want to find the total sale so i'll select sum and then here source data range means from where you want to take your data so either you can define the range or what you can do just click over here and you can minimize it then go to your first sheet that is 2019 and select all your range where your data is right now again click on this then you have to click on add so your range will appear here now you have to go to the second sheet so again i just click here i'll go to my second sheet wherever my data is then again i will select my range one more thing that you should keep in mind is that the name over here on the top row and this column they must be same okay otherwise your data consolidation will not work perfectly then i will click on add so my two ranges will be added here after that you want to copy the results to where you want to copy the result for that i have created another sheet and i have renamed it as total sale click on this particular text box and then click on this cell so it will automatically add the address now we have some more options when you click on more you have consolidate by row column and link to data source let's take only row so only the row labels will appear the upper column will not appear so click on ok and, and see the result you can see over here that i have got all the rows but i do not have any column headings that's why you if you want your column heading as well you have to select both row and column so undo it and let's do it once again sum i want the sum function the range is defined and i told the where i have it have to copy the result now click on more click on columns and now let's click on ok so i have got my row labels as well as column labels i hope this is clear now what is that link to data source link to data source means if i make changes in my source that should be reflected in my result. If you want that, you will check that box. Hundred is added to it. So will it change? No, there is no change. You can see over here, right? 
so if i want any changes what you have to do you again have to select that particular option click on more and click on link to data source click on okay and now let's see the total sale where it has been updated 18 let's uh, make it 18000 and i made changes over here as well let's do it 18000 so it should be 36000 in total sale and here yes it is there i hope you have understood this particular concept now we have one more let's try to find out the maximum using data consolidation so i will go to data consolidation here i will select the function max go to my first sheet and i select the range click on add go to my second sheet select your range click on add now where you want to find the result so i have taken another sheet i click on this cell and i click on this it will automatically take up the address again on more i want both the labels and link to data source or link to source data right click on okay and here it will say it will show you the maximum sale so let's see uh, for quarter 1 sale what's the uh, maximum sale for palwal and meerut 2019 18 so for 2020 it's 1566 and for 19 it's 6700 so maximum is 16700 let's see whether it is showing or not yes it is showing so i hope this is also clear to you now let's understand what is subtotal this sheet is having branch product and unit sold given faridabad and meerut and ghaziabad sonipat ghaziabad it's not a range so if i want to see my result as branch wise or product wise how many products are sold by each branch i have the subtotal option over here so let's see what is this and you will come to know about it for this again you have to go to data menu and there we have subtotal this subtotal dialog box will appear this having four tabs first group second group third group and options so we can make three groups of the data okay i can make branch wise and then product wise so let's do it with the first group only i want to find out the sale branch wise okay so i have told that you just do it by branch wise group it by branch wise and how many units sold and i want to find the sum all right so these again sum count average max min product these again are the same just like we have done in data consolidation learn it by heart from the point of view of your exams click on okay and let's see the result so now you can see that according to the branch my data is now is according to the branch and what each branch has sold the keyboard first sold and then laptops then again keyboard and laptop okay so this is only branch wise it has told how many units were sold and subtotal is over here and the grand total is here okay i hope this is clear now let's do one more time undo it go to data subtotal and i want right now first group branch wise and then i want second group product wise and unit sold and again i want the sum okay so let's see over here branch wise faridabad it has taken the first branch as faridabad then product first keyboard then laptop so the faridabad branch has sold two products keyboard and laptop and how many they have sold that is also being calculated here similarly for other branches right you can see over here so i hope this is also clear to you we have learned two concept of here data consolidation and subtotal in case you have any doubt you can also write in the comment section keep you need to my channel for coming videos thank you so much